Hey guys, so today I want to make a quick little review here on the Sony Xperia Z and this review will be a little bit different compared to a lot of other reviews out there. A lot of uh, other reviews out there, they just go over the specs. They don't talk that much about the experience of just using the device. Uh, so of course right now I can't uh, compare this device against the Galaxy S4 or against uh, other flagship devices from 2013 like the HTC One and the Galaxy S4 that's gonna come out soon on the market where I live and also LG Optimus G Pro, LG uh, flagship device for this year I don't have that one either uh, but I will go over the experience and the good things I have also have a full writ you know, written review on my website uh, which you can uh, check out in the description down below uh, and there you can really see me, uh, you know, writing all the good things and the bad things with the phone. Uh, overall, I would say that this is a good phone. But uh, remember, I haven't got my hands on on other flagship devices for 2013. And one, when I do, when I do get the the Galaxy S4, when I do get the HTC One, and also if I can get the Adrenalus G Pro, then um, you know I might have a different view on this phone. Uh, but right now, there, there's a lot of good things about this phone. Uh, if you talk about, I think Sony is uh, improving their smartphones from last year. Last year, uh, they didn't make like a premium devices. Uh, the the Xperia S that they launched last year, it didn't cost as much as other flagship devices from last year, from Samsung and from uh, Apple and from HTC. But this year, they are bumping up the quality a little bit on the phone uh, with a quad-core processor and uh, uh, you also have this amazing phone that it's a, it's, a, it's probably one of the first high-end devices uh, that is waterproof and I, I find that extremely amazing that you can you know shower with this device or if you accidentally would drop it in water uh, that, that's not going to be a problem because it's waterproof for 30 uh, minutes uh, one meter under water and also it's dust proof uh, so uh, what is some of the good things and what is some of the bad things? The first thing I want to say is that, you know, I've been testing this device a lot, uh, especially in durability. Here we have another uh, one of my uh, my Sony Xperia Zs, and here we also have another one. I also made a hammer drop test on the Xperia Z, and one very bad thing uh, that I don't really like about this device is that the durability, sure, you can have it underwater, that's very nice, uh, but if you would drop this device, if you would do a knife, test on the device or you know just do a normal uh, you know if you would accidentally drop the device it feels like it's very very easy to uh, to that you will shatter the whole display and not just the whole display on top but also uh, when you crash the display here it, it seems like uh, you can't use the device because the, the you know the screen underneath the touch uh, usually stops to work so that do kind of suck so in that way I think the durability kind of sucks and also one thing that I want to say here I'm a Samsung guy you know I've used a lot of Samsung devices and you know speaking about durability uh, both my Galaxy Note 2 and my Galaxy 3 first generation I've both ge ge been getting you know scratches on the device uh, and I've also been hitting it hard with the knife but never ever in my life have the display underneath stop working so even if you crack the display you can still use the device uh, so that's something that I don't like I don't like that much I, I kind of hate it actually um, that, that's one of the big things that I really don't like uh, about uh, this phone also one thing that I don't like about this phone is that even though it is a quad core device it still feels a little bit slow in menus compared to last generation phones from Samsung like the Galaxy S3 and um, you know the Galaxy Note 2 it still feels like they can improve the performance a little bit um, it's still you know touch with or not touch with of course but Sony Xperia's UI I definitely do believe that it's it's prettier than touch with and it looks kind of uh, the same here uh, of course this is um, like a 5 inch smartphone with an amazing uh, display a 1080p display even though there's really not that big of a difference uh, with 1080p versus 720p displays on smartphones uh, because you know the PPI you get around 100 pixels per inch more and in Kindle reading you might get a little bit sharper text uh, but overall you won't really see that of a big difference 
Also, one of the big, big, massive bad things with the Xperia Z is definitely the viewing angles. Uh, really, viewing angles are so poor on this device. When you look at the device from the sides, it's very, very hard to see the screen. Some people do like this though, um, because you know, then people that are trying to spy on your phone, they uh, stand close to you, they won't be able to see the screen that good. But let's say you have the, the device on a table, a little bit far away from you, it could be kind of hard with the viewing angles because it's kind of hard to see the screen if you uh, turn it like this. And that's extremely, 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 extremely annoying. And one thing also that you might not wanna have is that of course, when you turn off the display, uh, you don't have any home button on the front side. So that means that if you wanna turn on the device when it's located like this, you can't push it on the front side. You have to push on the side and then you have to use uh, your thumb here also, so the device doesn't move. Uh, but definitely it could look a little bit clean here. But also, uh, this is a five inch display, sure, but when it had these virtual keys, the screen is almost the same size as a Galaxy S3. And I would say overall, there is really not that much big difference between the Galaxy S3 versus the Sony Xperia Z in you know performance. And I mean, like they're, they're very, very identical in size. Uh, they're very, very identical in size. I'm using right now my, my Galaxy S3 4G as my main smartphone. And I would say that one thing that I do like more about my Galaxy S3 is that it's more rounded off. So, it, you know, it fits in my hand extremely nice. Uh, one thing though that's better with the Sony Xperia Z uh, that I would say is that it feels a little bit more premium, definitely. Uh, but it is a little bit bigger, but still I don't think it's extremely uncomfortable. I can see a lot of people use this device and You know, it does have of course glass back on the on the back and you can't remove the battery uh, Which is also one very bad thing. You still don't have an a, a, like an SD card micro SD card slot here on the side uh, You also have a docking station here. So if you don't want to open these ports up uh, the ports, of course, the ports are there uh, used to protect the phone from water. But if you don't want to open it up every time you charge the device, you you, you do get a dock docking station when you buy this device. Uh, so you can just dock it to that. And that's extremely nice to get that for free. And you get a very, very beautiful design here on the sides. Uh, you know, you get this rounded off little button here on the right side to power on the device. Uh, also, uh, just on top of that, we do get the uh, the SIM card slot, and then below that we have volume up and down keys, and then I'm pretty sure we have the speaker located here also uh, at the bottom. One thing that's very bad with the speaker is I don't think it's very loud, and many times when you play a game, you hold the device like this, you have your you know thumb here on on the speaker, so you don't hear it that good, you know. Uh, it's uh, I don't I think that they should have put that on uh, on uh, some other side, but it feels extremely nice. Uh, the sides here, a little bit like a plastic feeling. Amazing camera. I, I actually use this camera every day uh, on my new channel, Daily How To Tutorials, where I do crazy how to videos. Uh, it, it, it is very, very nice uh, 30 megapixel camera. And the good thing with this 30 megapixel camera is that it, it has uh, HDR video mode, uh, which is pretty new for video. And that's something that we'll see more in the flagship devices for 2013. Uh, of course, on top of the device here, uh, we do have, uh, of course, the headphone jack uh, that is also sealed and uh, Overall, that 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 is the that is the design. And uh, if you talk about the specs, uh, of course, the GPU that you will get in the uh, uh, in the in, in the Sony Xperia Z is uh, is is uh, pretty powerful. It's the same. I'm pretty sure it's the Adreno 320 GPU, same as you would get in the Google Nexus 4. So definitely something that you uh, might want to check out. And uh, uh, the build quality, as I said, the build quality feels better uh, compared to Samsung's devices here. This one has, you know, the plastic feeling, but it's very good if you if you drop your devices a lot. If you don't use cases, uh, you know, Samsung's devices are very, very durable when you drop them. Of course, though, we don't get water or dust protection 
on the S3 and I've noticed it a lot that it could be extremely nice to have that protection uh, especially if you you know are close to water uh, you know uh, but the big thing that I, I would say that I'm kind of scared with the Square Z is the quality uh, on on the screen uh, that it feels like uh, if you drop this device uh, either you will shatter the back very very easily or you will shatter the front side and it is an exp more expensive device uh, than the Galaxy S3 at the moment so it's definitely something that you want to, want to consider you know uh, if, if it's worth picking up. I also noticed that some new apps is not available for the Xperia Z, you know, they will crash a little bit. Uh, overall, if you're a Sony fan, uh, you, you know, you won't get disappointed probably with this device because it's it's better uh, than, uh, you know, than the last year's Sony devices. It would definitely be a lot, a lot fun for me to uh, compare this device uh, you know, and give my full opinions on it when I can compare it against other flagship devices for 2013, uh, like the Galaxy S4, like the HTC One, and um, it has a little bit bump here on on the side or, or or at the bottom, so it could actually feel like a pretty big phone uh, because that you do get a five inch screen, but it, it is a little bit smaller just because of the virtual keys, so it's around the S3 size, but it's still a bigger phone, uh, you know, in in terms of you know size but you know some people do prefer it big some people you know do like that so uh, yeah uh, but just a quick little video talking here a little bit about the Xperia Z I wouldn't say that I, I found any major flaws compared uh, you know uh, the stereo speaker maybe a little bit and uh, the durability that it has glass and um, you know it's, it's no no extremely big problems that I have had with it you know, you won't get disappointed, uh, but I still would wait uh, before I purchase the device, before, you know, I can get my hands on, on at least, uh, you know, the S4 and the HTC One and, you know, see which one um, I'm the most big fan of. Uh, so that will be fun. I have a ton of other videos also on the Xperia Z if you want to go and check them out. Uh, made a lot of crazy tests with the Xperia Z and uh, also some other comparisons. So you can also tell me in the comment section down below if there's any specific more videos you want to see uh, on the Xperia Z, maybe some case reviews or something like that. And yeah, until next video, have an awesome day and I will see you all in the next video, hopefully. Yeah, peace.